All right, the last one that I'm going to do for you today is number 11, and we are looking at absolute value, and I'm hoping that most of you have got this figured out, and you're doing these and remembering these and keeping these fresh so that we have these tools we can use for all of our problems this year. We do need to isolate this. Very similar to all the things that we've been doing is you've got to isolate this x value. You've got to move all the numbers over, so we're going to move the 10 first. <coughs> the next thing we're going to do is divide by the negative 5. So the process that we're doing here is so similar to all the other things that we're doing. Hopefully you're recognizing that. <coughs> oh my, oh I was talking, I was talking and I almost missed it. I divided by a negative people. So you were supposed to switch those signs. So now I have that is less than or three and two X minus one is also greater than or equal to negative three. So two X is less than or equal to four. <coughs> And 2x is greater than or equal to negative 2, and x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So we have a 2 and negative 1. I want the things that are greater than that, but less than that. So that would be my answer. <coughs>